Foggy Lou! Don't... Don't worry. If Velvet could do it, there's no way I can't... How many times do you plan to destroy and rebuild your own heart, Moggy Lou? We're on 107. Who was it 108? I lost count. Not that I really care. Pathetic fool. Did I not tell you it would require an iron will as indomitable as the very trees that live and die across millennia? <laughs> like you, I suppose. Or that boy over there? <laughs> that is the foundation of an ideal world. One free from man's sins. <laughs> An ideal world, huh? You, kid. The boy who was your companion, Laffy said. He's alive. Chasing a terrifying demon girl, he has learned the immensity of the seas and weathered the dry wastes of the land. Those people, they're different from us. Despite the pain, the anguish, they embrace the life they've been given. They live undaunted by the ugliness of the world! <gasps> so you're doing this all for them? Is that what this is? <laughs> Not even close. They aggravate me to my wit's end. <laughs> like stabs in the chest, over and over and over. And that's exactly why. That's why. I intend to see how all of this ends. I won't be satisfied until I do. Words bereft of meaning. You truly are my greatest failure. Gosh, funny just how little I care. No, please! Let me guess. We came at a good time? You're late. Because of you, I had to have a really boring conversation. So, you came face to face with Inominat. If so, then you must know that your quest for revenge is utterly meaningless. Yeah, I did. I know why sadness fills the world, and I know how deep are the burdens of sin. I tried to abandon my memories of Arthur and Laffy, to cut myself off from it all, and end this tragedy. It's... it's what they would have wanted. Exactly. You do well to know your place. But that's exactly why I can't forgive them. Not Artorius, not Inominat. I know my heart is ugly and full of contradictions, but those days we spent together in familial warmth, they're proof that I that all of us were truly alive. That's why, no matter how hard, no matter how sad it gets, I will take my vengeance to the very end! Velvet! Don't be a fool! Just give up and die like you ought! It is your destiny to wallow in despair! You take my family, turn me into a monster, and you want my soul too. Now who's being the fool? Remember this well. The Lord of Calamity never gives up, not even in the face of death. Have you no shame for your sins, you are 
holy monster! <laughs> Let me in on this. I lost a bet and I've got some anger to work out. You sure you can fight in your condition? Who do you think I am? Oh, I thought you'd never ask. I am the dastardly witch Magilu, scourge of self-righteous exorcists! Now face the wrath of Magilu Maven! Fools! All of you! You're the fool! Hello everyone and welcome back to Tales of Berseria! I am Wishblade and this is Melchior and Tethered Malik number one. Sorry I gotta kick your ass. Everyone, I'm sorry to have worried you. I wasn't worried. I didn't realize you were someone who needed looking after. No this is our way of saying we trust you. Yeah. You're horrible. See? Step your chest, that's all you need. Well, I'm sure you don't mind at all. Absolutely not. Number one, come over here. You are being resilient, and I just cannot stand for this. My goodness! This... This moment right here, this wonderful moment in the game. This is when the game went from awesome to epic. Also, Melchior, I'm here to take you out, you son of a bitch. And, I will admit, during the whole lobby set and talking to Velvet and everything, I might have gotten my cry on and my eyes may still be wet right now. Even after who knows how many times I've watched at this point. What's that? Three times probably? Oh, shut up! Tell Artorius and Inomi not. They took something precious from me. I'll never forgive them for that! The annals of history are stained with evil people like you! You spread havoc and destruction, all to satisfy your own ends! A dark font of malevolence! You're a demon lord! The irredeemable embodiment of sin! The Lord of Calamity. It is the Exorcist's duty to destroy you! You talk a lot. How about you keep talking and tell us where Ifreed is? You'll regret this. I can feel he know me not. He's coming! We can fight here no longer. Bianfu, close the rift! I can't! Come forth! <laughs> Carelessness will get you killed. Zavid! <sighs> you ruined the moment. Huh? Don't you mean, thanks for saving us, Zavid? You're my hero and role model? Thank you for saving us, Zavid. Where exactly are we now? We're in an abbey facility on Hexen Isle. I heard Melchior was in charge here, so I snuck in. I hadn't expected an extra-dimensional space. Is there a way out? There is now that I've busted my way in. Let's head outside. We can talk then. Uh... Who's that? A friend. His name is Number One. Hey, wanna come with us? If you stay here alone, a dragon might get you. I bet you wouldn't like that. Yeah, that sounds scary. Great! Come on, kid! What are you doing? You can't leave him like this. I'll get him a vessel, somehow. <sighs> Do what you like. for all the wonderful things that are happening in Savina here as well, and it's just great! The Calyx, Realm of Testing, and Expedition. And <laughs> everyone's back, Bacala, I'm so happy to see you. It's so great! Take, I knew this would be big. 
What a treasure! Or look, moon and star earrings. A pair of earrings collected on the Nox Mdia Isles. Wearing them when you sleep will carry you will, will, will carry you to a dream where your dreams come true. A dream where your dreams come true. What? Indefatigable. Well, that's one hell of a word. And yeah, we still need an area and the fashion Scout item. So off you go. And just because I'm just gonna take care of a few things because for one thing. I have not had a break between episodes right here, so I'm just gonna have myself a little break and potentially deal with any equipment or whatever. I'll think of something to do, I'm sure, so I'll be right back! Alright then, I am good to go. And first order of business, well, don't need to auto-cook it, I just need to go down here and cook this with... Ah, velvet is smiling, she looks so happy! There you go. I guess you never forget how to cook. Well, that's a great thing then, and that should activate that! Eleanor, are you feeling okay? Why do you ask? You always seem to enjoy eating, but today you look like you were struggling a little bit. Really? Well, I'm not sick or anything. I actually feel even better than normal. If you say so. Wait, do you just not like quiches? No, I like them just fine. Velvet makes some great ones, doesn't she? It's amazing when you consider she can't taste them. I've got it. You hate spinach, don't you? I suppose there's no point in denying it. And here I thought you people would eat anything. I know a lot of people don't like carrots or bell peppers, but spinach? That's a new one to me. You think so? It's quite bitter and it's got that smell. Kind of grassy or something medicinal, or... I didn't know you were so picky. Actually, now that I think about it, you had some trouble with the solitoma, too. It's actually because of the solitoma. I used to love spinach when I was little, but now it just reminds me of... Ugh, solitoma. I've had to take solitoma before too, but it had the opposite effect on me. Now spinach tastes sweet by comparison. So much for the serious, mature woman. Looks like even you have some child left in you. But don't let it get to you. Being a fussy eater is just another way of life. You're in charge of your own plate. Ugh, I just don't like spinach. What's the big deal? Besides, I know you all hate it too. I'm talking about the spinach method. Supporting peers and achieving cohesive harmony. It's the foundation of any successful team, and you all completely fail at it. Okay, so first, what the hell are you dribbling about? And second, I'm not going to be lectured by some wee baby who won't eat her spinach. And you know what? I do what I want. I'm a free woman, and I don't need to live by your rules. Some of us just aren't cut out for team leadership. We'll leave that to you. You just let us each do our own thing. Am I right, Aizen? Don't be ridiculous. The spinach method is the first thing every pirate learns if they want to join Eifried's crew. Sometimes the younger sailors forget all the steps. I was just running a refresher lecture on it last night. Eleanor's on the money here. By the way, Aizen, I'm still waiting on your latest report. I haven't heard anything from you in a while now. Oh, I, I, uh, oh, I was gonna get to that, um, tomorrow. I've had it up to here! All right, you three, sit down and listen. Did you not hear me? Sit. Down. And. Listen! I don't need to live by your rules. Some of us just aren't cut out for it. I'll do it tomorrow. You might as well be toddlers. Our enemy is formidable and well-organized. Some might even say we'd be crazy to take them on. Surely even you three can recognize that any small lapses in cohesion could bring total disaster upon us. How did we get from spinach to a lecture on team building? I don't know, but I'm so happy it happened. Oh, I love these guys. I love this game. I love this party. I love everything. Well, I, do, I don't love everything. No, obviously, but it's a wonderful game. It is a wonderful game, and just everything's just so awesome. Also, this place! Look at this place! Something about extra-dimensional space? I don't know about that, but that right- that down there, that looks weird. Is that the ocean? Was that clouds or something? I have no idea. Either way. You seem awfully chipper, Velvet. I'm fine. And I guess I have you to think as well. Perhaps. But gratitude doesn't suit you. Now, say ah! Huh? I need to see your teeth! I made 
a hundred gold bet that you'd break, remember? So, I need to see if you've broken anything. Let's start with those teeth. Help us out, kiddo. All right. I just need to check our front teeth, right? Front teeth, canines, whatever. Just get in there and take a good hard look. You didn't mean that literally, did you? Why are you making feed you the checking? Acting the innocent maiden, are we? Well, I suppose that some say that showing the inside of your mouth can be more personal than being seen naked. What? Seriously? Magilu, you're only making this even more awkward. Come now, will you cooperate or not? We can't settle the bet until we know the tooth! Fine, but let's check the ones in my left hand first. Good, I believe Bienfu can assist with that. Why me? Leave me out of this! <laughs> She's squeezing me! Ouch! Those fangs hurt! <laughs> Looks like Velvet is just fine. Yeah, the sparks return to her eyes. But, uh, is showing the inside of your mouth really that embarrassing? What? Keep your intrusive questions to yourself! I do not understand the ladies at all. Also, Velvet's happy again. That is wonderful. That is the greatest thing in the world! But yeah, is that actually a thing? The size of the art that created this place. Just what is the Abbey planning to use it for? Whatever it is, they're trying hard to keep it hidden. Can't be anything good. Well, I'd like to know what it is. Someone tell me. And peach gels and black bottles and stuff like that. There you go. But yeah, is that really a thing? I've never heard of this, but what do I know? Oh, enemies! Meaning, is there, is there a dangerous encounter? Also, it's one of those elephant head looking things. Well, I guess not here, so I'll try down here instead with another chest. That's definitely a dangerous encounter. And if I'm not entirely mistaken, this should be the third and final act of the game, meaning, just like the last time, something might have changed. Come over here. Come over here. I need you to help me with the changes. I'm extra good at beating up the weak ones. Watch. Oh, oh. Turn up. Yeah. Better watch your step. Oh, oh, oh. Turn up. Oh. 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 You won't get a word. Oh. 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 Stop fooling around. Well, that was some of the music, because yet again, the music has indeed changed ever so slightly. Now, I'm still thinking I can do a dangerous encounter right, right here. But I'll get this first. Elixir! Fully heals 1 LH HP and SG, restores 3 PG, and revives from knockout. Alright, let's try that dangerous counter thing. Maybe. Oh, there we go. You're strong. Now we can listen to the music a little bit more. And thank you. Thank you! I activated the consuming claw before I got hit by the evil spell. So it did not interrupt me or anything like that. What the? But yeah. This music right here. Mm, it's okay, sure. Obviously. Well, maybe not obviously, but it's okay, sure. But yeah. I'm not sure. Of the three standard battle themes that are in this game. I don't know. Hmm. Well, it's definitely not this one that's my favorite. But I think it's the second one. I think it's the second one that's my favorite. Probably. Also, what the hell are those things over there? Macrosia Wraith. That is some weird name, but all right, sure. Whatever. And you don't like neutral. Well, then I will give you neutral. And defiant conviction. Victory is ours. Yes, it is. Oh. Mystical Feather Garment! New stuff! Alright! What was that description? It said something. What was that? Um... Has absolutely... Absolutely no function as armor, so only only those who can handle themselves on the battlefield should consi consider wearing it. Eh... I suppose it only does give... Focus and no defense. And... I've never had this thing before! Apparently! Alright then! Well, I guess it's time to learn some new things! Basically. Oh... I'm gonna lose some some initial souls if I do this with Velvet. Oh dear. Well, I wanna learn it anyway, so... Um, Eleanor, you can be the first to learn as well. Here you go. Have fun with that. Now, let's get going through this 
Calyx place to find this hex and isle or whatever. Is this, is this a hex and isle? I don't know. I know that's a snake. No, that's snake. Oh well, fine. I guess we do have new music, so it's okay, I suppose. It's all right. I will destroy you all nonetheless, though. Come over here. You evil bugger. There we go. And voila. They were nothing. <laughs> nothing whatsoever. Oh, I am so happy right now. Aren't you so happy? All the positive energy. Hey, who was that kid anyway? He and I used to be tethered to an exorcist named Lady Teresa. He was number one, I was number two. Oh, -ho, a friend of yours then. So he went feral after that Teresa lady fell. Yeah. I found Velvet and the others, but he probably had nowhere to go. A stray Moloch stripped of his free will won't go much further than a demon's belly. Anyway, seems like the only people I run into these days are kids. I'm more in the market for an unattached woman with a pretty face. Um, sorry? <laughs> I'm just fooling around. Grow a sense of humor, kid. Anyway, relax. I'll keep an eye on him until he's in command of himself again, all right? Just one more reason to bring the Abbey down. Right. Thanks, Savid. Oh, Savid, I want you in my party. You're awesome. You're awesome. You have Siegfried and you have your pendulum. It's all amazing. God damn it. Make it happen, Savid party member. Right now, please. Also, leave me alone, witch thing. Gale witch thing. That I'm fairly certain we already saw in the, uh, the, the Titania when they attacked and everything. Probably. That was an arcane bottle. Stop attacking me. I don't care if you don't have a dangerous encounter for me to do. So, whatever. Also, hmm, as I take a glance over at my notes, I do spy something else that doesn't seem proper. And it must be the notes that are wrong because they're... I've Got, I've gotten all the chests, so my notes are wrong, apparently. And this time, let's try to see if I can do this without risky encounters. Success! Now let's get the heck out of here by just going down this, this path right here. And maybe, you never know, there might be four skits or something else. Just random talking. Not that I mind. Hey, Laffy Set, can you think of a good name for the kid? You're giving number one a name? Yeah. He says he can't remember his true name, and calling him by a number seems mean, you know? Yeah. I was really happy when Velvet gave me my name. Hey, I've got this. How about Hajime? It means the first, and he's number one, right? In that case, why not just go with Ichiro? No way. That was Shigure's childhood name. Why should that matter to us? It should be softer. How about Ichi? Or maybe something like Numbi? Numbi? Where'd that one come from? It's like number, but, uh, more cute. Let's just forget that one. I don't think we should reference his old number at all. Um, how about Bob? Uh, is that just because of his hairstyle? That's really reaching. Actually, I kind of like it. If it's too plain, how about Bobby? Hmm, that isn't bad. Right? Then number one is hereby renamed... Stop it, you two! You don't understand it at all! A boy doesn't want a name that sounds cute! You... you don't think so? That was quite an outburst. <laughs> the kid has a point. We need something with more panache. How about Silva? Silva? His hair and pendant are both silver. I like it. It's got a certain mystique about it. Silva! Yeah, it sounds cool. Well, if his old buddy Laffy said approves, then Silva it is. Well done, first mate. Praise from you is wasted on me. Huh. <laughs> then consider it praise from Silva instead. Right. Time to go give him the good news. Hey, the Moloch formerly known as Number One. You've got a new name. I'm glad he got a good name. Maybe we should have put a little more thought into naming you, too. That's all right. You need to steer your own ship. Right, Aizen? You're the one who taught me that. <laughs> you know just what to say, don't you? Moloch, formerly known as number two. <laughs> <laughs>
Yes, he does, because he's so goddamn charming. He is a wonderful. Also, there's a skip. Magilu, what were you up to while we were lost in the Earth Pulse? I was ringing the bell. The rift was open the whole time. Couldn't you hear me? I don't remember hearing any bells. She was fighting with Lord Melchior. She really gave it her all. Bianfu, don't give him the wrong impression. But you endured so much. It was... It was so moving! Yes, yes, I did endure. It was so hard not to laugh. Did the old man tell you a joke or something? It was a staring contest, and oh, the faces that old man can make. I kept picturing him as a young man, but with that same wrinkled face, and it was so hard not to crack. <laughs> I needed to keep myself in check. My desire to laugh was only broken by the ringing of the bell. Clang! Crash! What a thrill! Wait. Was that the only thing that broke Mogilu? Are you asking if he broke my heart? Like I'm fishing for sympathy? That's not what I meant at all! You stood watch over the Earth Pulse Rift for us. I didn't say that! Stop trying to give me a participation medal! Just take it. After all, you don't care either way, right? True that. Sure you don't. We know you care, Mogilu. Why don't you just admit it? Or something. Anyway, I believe we found ourselves an exit, so we shall use this exit in the next episode. So thank you very much for watching, and until next time, see you later.